So here we are, we're at Pun Panton Farm. That's how you say it, Pun Panton, I think. Pan Punton actually, no, Pan Punton. But look at this. They've got this like belting all set up. Probably for new arrivals, so I'm probably being a bit cheeky here. But look at that, isn't that pretty? It's got its own like picnic bench and table. I don't have a clue how much it is. It's got like little lights there, look as well. Man, that is so pretty. So there's one there, and one there. Absolutely gorgeous. Loads of people seem to be um, packing up to go home, so it's going to be quite a bit quieter. So there's Brenda over in the corner there. So, but we are quite excited today because we're arrive waiting for the arrival of our number one son with his very own belt tent. But wow, I'm super impressed by that Pan Punton Farm. Beautiful. And we're on the move. We've decided to move from this little cosy crowded spot to a spot of our own. And I better hurry up and help else I'll be in trouble. Oh my God, look at that. Moving with the roof up. Not recommended for big distances. Fantastic. So here we are, new base camp with Cozy Cozy Bell tent and Brenda, Brenda still being Brenda, just in a different spot. So we are actually, I think now, in a much nicer spot of the campsite because if you look at where we are, there's the toilet tent with the solar shower. Look at where we are, got cracking view of um, Dreza Woods and the railway line and you can see the campsite's gone quite a bit quieter so it's lovely. I'm sure it'll be absolutely ran by tonight but we're going to enjoy a nice peaceful afternoon. Maybe a walk in tonight and then another part of that beautiful Robinson's Cider. What do you think of that belt, isn't I? Eh? Not convinced he's going to need a log burner this weekend, but it's still fancy schmancy, isn't it? So, here we are with the summarised belt tent. I don't mean the shortened version of a belt tent. I mean the version that is made for the summer. Look at that. But the thing that I like the best is the carbon monoxide alarm that we have bought for Harrison to keep him safe when he has his log burner on in his now summarised belt tent. Here we are in Knighton at the Horse and Jockey. Now, Mr. Brenda Jr. has joined us on our little holiday with his bell tent. And the reason I'm filming here is actually because of these roses. So we've just had a nice pint of cider, have we not? Yeah. And um, the boys are going to have another one and I'm going to try something called Madre, which apparently is a Spanish premium lager. Right, what you all didn't know is Brenda Green Brenda from Bus has a little known brother and her little known brother is Barry the Bell Tent. Barry the Bell Tent comes with his own human and with his own fire and his own log burner and they are distantly related somehow. There we go. Look at this. So you choose in the comments below. What, what would you rather have? Would you rather have Barry the Beltant or Green Brenda? So we have only been walking 10 minutes from the campsite. But I'm absolutely exhausted, but my word, offer knew how to build a very, 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 very steep path. Phew, I think I've burnt off my bacon and my egg. 
The decision is, are these horses going to chase us, lick us, bite us, or ignore us? I what do you think? <laughs> Shut up! How rude! Aren't they beautiful? Beautiful greys. Hello! Hello, what would you like to do with us? Uh, ignore. Correct answer. Oh, or even. I'm currently stuck on the fence because Mr. Brenda can't decide which way it is. So I've crawled under and got my knees covered in poo. So when he said we go the wrong way, I decided to go over. I know there's a bit of in which way. So I'm looking at the lovely horses from here. I'm so excited. So we've just done our massive walk off us dyke and all that shenanigans. Um, walking back from Knighton to the campsite and over here, Jack just spotted a mink and he has took a photograph of it. So I'll put a photograph up. So I've never seen a mink before um, in the wild. So that was really rather exciting. So well done mr brenda jr for wildlife spotting so right now i'm going to upload it to iNaturalist, which is uh, a very exciting app